Welcome back to the video where you got Entrepreneur Davis. In today's video, I'm going to be moving some concrete from this one site to the concrete yard and dumping for free. And I'm um, going to take you guys along with me. And I got the skid on the back, so we're going to go help these people out and uh, get this concrete removed today. Um, something easy, something calm, nothing big. But I decided that I'm going to start taking you guys on these little projects with me because uh, they're, just, they're just as important as the big ones. So I'm going to try to film as much as I can for now on. And get almost try to get every single project that I do and put it here on YouTube and uh, that's what I'm gonna do that's what I decided because like uh, even though they're not the biggest coolest projects they're still projects and they still make my business money and it's bringing a regular move for my business so that's what I'm going to do today the place is only about 30 minutes away it's still in the same town as mine it's just the other part of town and uh, the concrete yard is about six yards I mean six miles from the uh, the place where I'm picking up the concrete from so it's not too far it's just all about how, how fast I can get it done. The concrete yard closes at uh, 4 p.m. It is 10 a.m. right now, so yeah. But we're gonna go knock it out right now, so stay tuned here. Let's get it. Looks like we're working over there today with the big dogs. Come on, we're over here. <laughs> That's cool. It's still pretty cool. It's like a metal yard or something like that. Fabricating metal over here. But I gotta pick up some concrete here to get over to the concrete yard, wherever the concrete is, and uh, you know, keep doing that until it's all going pretty much. Make some decent money. But it's pretty cool. Another commercial building, not as big as the other one, but still serves the same purpose. Perfect. All right, see these fabricated metal over here. Pretty sweet. All right, as you guys can see here, this is the concrete piles right here. It's a good amount of concrete. It's not too much though, but this is what we're going to be picking up and taking it over to the concrete yard. Um, yeah. Left. Yeah, it's a good amount more, but it'll be all one more dump trailer. Got the dump trailer filled up to the brim. I don't gotta go too far down the road. Leave the machine here, be right back. Alright, y'all, so I'm about to take off this first loop. Right now, I'm trying to get out of here. It's super tight in here. Goodness, that was a lot to get out of there. It was freaking like no space. But uh, yeah, now I'm about to head over to the first dump at the concrete yard. It's free, it's totally free for concrete. And this is all concrete, so easy money. Um, Can't can't beat that. But yeah, that's, that space is so tight. Oh my goodness, especially with this, this freaking eight foot bed and freaking 16 foot long dump trailer. So I got the long wheelbase on my truck. And uh, my trailer is obviously 16 feet, so whew, it's a beastie little, it's, it's hard in there because it's such a small area pretty much. We're only 13 minutes away, so I'll go there, dump, come back, load it up and then dump one more time, come back in my skate and go home. It's only 11.50, so, or actually no, 11.38. We're gonna get there by 11.50. So, probably got here around 10.40, now it's 11.30, uh, 40 pretty much. So it only took me about an hour to load it up. Now I got 12 minutes to get there. So 
foam in his bag, load up again, 12 minutes, 12 minutes, and uh, we'll be pretty much good as gold. Make easy money. And then I'll tell you guys at the end of the video how much I actually charge for this and how much we got paid. So stay tuned for that. But we're going to drop this concrete off. All right, guys. So we're over here at Old Reliable today. We're not going to take any rock. We're actually going to give them some rock so they can recycle it and reuse it. So, you know, it's a give and take thing. You know, sometimes I'll come and get some. Sometimes I'll come and give some. That's what I do. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and dump. Stop playing around. Struggling a little bit, but it's a lot of weight though. But it's doing it. A lot of concrete. That should be all, folks. I'm thinking. So it's a lot of concrete. All emptied out. Perfect. Can't beat that. No. So now we just got to weigh out, and then we get back there, and we just got to do that like one or two more times. I'm sure I got in front of this dump truck. <laughs> this is forever. I swear, the dump truck drivers will be sick here forever. Get out their car. It just slow by everything. <laughs> but yeah, nah, it was easy. Super easy. Oh, yeah, and I got some new boots. I'll show you guys in a minute. No laces, man, because I, I my last ones they were talking first off my last boots, and uh, they had laces. But these are construction boots, apparently. Found them at Ross for sixty bucks. Look like they protect me from like rain too, from what if it's wet raining out somewhere. Obviously the mud, bugs, poison ivy, everything. I think I need these because I'm always doing land clearing, brush clearing, and stuff. So it makes sense. So I just got these yesterday for Father's Day, and I'm super happy about them. They fit nice. I put my insoles in them, so you know. They fit nicely, pretty much. Three yards, it got even better. They're starting to pay people for the concrete they're bringing in. They said, first, you gotta get to 10 tons a day. So if you get 10 tons in one day, say you're like a dump truck or uh, somebody that just brings a lot of concrete in, they said after that 10th ton, they'll start paying you a dollar a ton, which is not much, but it's just cool to know that you can get paid for bringing concrete, like something you don't even need, something that is useless to you because you're just trying to get it off a job. But yeah, now they said, uh, if you get over 10 tons in one day, every time after that 10th ton, you get a dollar for it, which is not crazy. Like, I mean, realistically, what can you, how much can a person really make? Probably like, what, 20 bucks, 30 bucks maybe, but it's still good money. You put, maybe put it back, put it back in your uh, gas tank or your diesel tank, or, you know, go get some food with it. You never know, get some lunch. So it's not bad, it's pretty decent. I mean, let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about that, it's pretty good. Or let me know if, if y'all get paid for y'all concrete in y'all state, man. That's lit, but it's all up to you though. So, I mean, it's all counts on you. You gotta keep these cards to give you, cause mine was three tons obviously. So I got three cards. If I get 10 of those, every card after that is gonna be worth a dollar. So yeah, I don't think I will be able to get to that 10 tons today cause it's not that much concrete, but it's good to know though, you know? So yeah, good talk.
Definitely a heavy load. Truck squat, but we'll be fine. There's me and down the road. Come back for the skid. We'll be done. It's about the rain. Sheesh. Got all this cleaned up over here. All of it. You guys are sitting right here. It's all clean. Easy peasy. Let me go easy. Oh my goodness. Water. It's a little bit heavier than the first one, but I loaded it back heavy, so it's only 13 minutes away, but I'm gonna drive super duper duper slow. So uh, I can just get there safely. It's not far, so I must rather just get it all in one load than have to take another trip for just a little bit. So that's what I decided to do. Truck handle, we got a 6.7 diesel. <laughs> y'all know, y'all know. You know, these things are monsters. Might need to upgrade my axle soon on this trailer, or maybe get higher ply tires. They're only 10 ply. I need to get like 12, 14 ply easily. I do too much heavy pulling to not have that. It just costs money, you know? Can't be like, cause I got, I just got a new tire uh, a couple days ago for one of my trailers and well, for this trailer, for one of my trailer tires. And it cost me, uh, I think it was 140. And that's only for a 10 ply tire. I can only imagine what a 12 ply tire will cost. Probably upwards of 200 million bucks. But yeah, here we go. We got you. Heavy little, heavy little. Well, well, well. Well, look what we have here. Rain in Florida. Who would have thought this could have happened? <laughs> oh, man. It's another day in Florida, man. Sheesh. All right, guys. Uh, I might have overloaded it a lot over. Sheesh. That was, was 34,000 pounds. My whole truck and trailer set up. Last time it was 25,000. It was struggling. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it off so i'm gonna have to ask this guy to help me scrape some of it off the back of the dump trailer so i'm not gonna be able to get this it's not gonna be able to lift it i don't think we'll have to see though but i don't think it will if it will sheesh oh glory to god of course but it's not supposed to at least but we'll see hold on right here so i'm about to back up and dump this my stupidity now i gotta get uh actually gotta gotta push some of this off because i have way too much Thirty-four thousand pounds of well, actually, in total, with my truck and trailer, like thirty-four thousand. But my truck is probably thirteen, so that means that like this is like twenty-one thousand pounds just inside the trailer. Way too much. I thought I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking on this one. This one was stupid. But uh, I messed up, and I got to be mindful of it. Okay, uh, this is real inconvenient. Honestly, it really is for me and for the people. But I had to go sign a waiver and everything, just in case any damage happens and all that. But yeah. He tried to do it, but he couldn't with that machine, so he's going to use the excavator and just push some of it off. But yeah, I'm going to eat for this one. I've done myself on this one. Yes, sir. Here he comes right now with it, though. He's trying to uh, I thought it was... That thing looks like a T-Rex or a dragon. What is this? Yeah, Come on. He's going to scrape it back. He has like a little thumb at the top there, so he's just gonna hook it. He just needs to hook the top half, and then I think it'll be able to lift. Hopefully. Yeah. That was good. Finally got it out for me. Thank you to this guy. He really helped me out because I was I was not feeling like taking all that off. It was way too much, but you can hear it struggling still. This is a lot of a lot of concrete still in there. I tell you guys that so much. Make sure it's all out. That was 34,000 pounds in total with my truck and the trailer. I overloaded that way too bad. Never again. Just trying to get the job done. I mean, but my dump trailer is fine. I just couldn't lift it. Obviously, I mean, it can take the weight, it just can't lift that because it's rated 14K in total, so it can take the weight, but this this hydraulic lift is not rated for that much weight to lift while I was, I was dumping. That's what the problem was. That's what I thought on my head. I didn't put two and two together because I was thinking in my head, like, okay, it's rated for this much, 9,000 pounds, right? Of uh, just weight. But I forgot to take into account that the same weight that this trailer can carry is not the same weight to dump the hydraulics can handle for this dump but yeah it's all over now you don't gotta worry about it no more finally got it dumped i'm back at the place i'm about to pick my skid up 
I'm gonna go home. But I wanted to tell y'all how much I got from uh, the concrete yard, how much they paid me. They gave me $17 for all that weight I had. So it might be over 10 tons. Then you get $10 for a ton instead of one. I didn't really hear, but I thought it was one at first, but they gave me $17 and I know for a fact I didn't have 10 extra tons over what, we, what I'm supposed to get, I don't think. Maybe I did. I definitely know uh, because I definitely did ha not have no 17 tons over, so it must have been ten dollars for extra ton over ten. So I got seventeen dollars for that from concrete yard. So let me know if you guys get paid for your concrete wherever you guys are at, and uh, yeah, and let me know how much you guys get for each ton over in your state down in the comment section. Because I mean, this is my first experience with this. It's actually pretty cool because I don't need the concrete anyways, and I'm gonna get rid of it anyways if I get paid for it. It's a beautiful thing. So you look. But yeah, let me get my skid and we'll get out of here, y'all. Go home, make the outro, and I'll tell you all the numbers of this job. I mean, I got my skid. I'm driving back home about 40 minutes away. And uh, yeah, so I guess we can do the outro right now. And I can tell you all the numbers and everything because it's easy. It's not really too much. So in total, I got $617 for this job today. It took me about, give or take, four hours in total, honestly. But like two hours of actually being in the skid. Um, it was only about 40 minutes from my house, which is not bad. Um, what else? I spent about 50 bucks on diesel um, for the skid and for my truck. Um, Cause it wasn't much. I wasn't really running the skid for that long. Work. And the skid like runs on like no diesel. It, like it needs up none. But uh, yeah, that, so that's pretty much the expenses. There wasn't any, any other expenses other than that. I mean, if you want to count wear and tear, you can put like a hundred dollars in that fat. So I probably made like a good, I don't know, 450, 500 profit for like four hours of work. Not bad. It's a subcontract job. It wasn't like it was my job or anything. I went over there as a subcontractor and uh, I got that work subcontracted out to me. So all I had to do was show up my skid and uh, just do the work. And uh, that's what I did. So it was mad easy, too easy. Let me know in the conversation if y'all would do this type of job as a subcontractor. No liability for you guys. It's just you show up, do the work, you go home, you get paid. You know what I mean? So, yeah. And the one thing that did surprise me in, on this job is I got paid for this concrete load like i've never got paid for any concrete loads before in the past it must be a new thing they started not maybe they started out in 2024 because i don't think i've took any loads of concrete over there since the beginning of the year so it might be something new that they just started this year but yeah so i like this thing and i think i'm going to be taking a lot of concrete over there with this subcontract this contract that I, i'm working with that he subcontract contracts a lot of concrete work out to me so this is going to be a good little hand-to-hand -hand thing where you know he subcontracts concrete now to me i take it over for free and get paid for it Plus, I get paid by him, so it's gonna be a good little gig for me. So I'm excited for that in the future. And um, yeah, but uh, if you guys already haven't go, uh, going ahead and liked, subscribe, and left a comment down below, go ahead and leave a comment too as well. Um, go ahead and do all that, and uh, you know it helps my algorithm and uh, it helps me boost to more people and more people see my videos. And I feel like they're pretty helpful. I mean, let me know if, down in the comments section if you guys think that. But uh, that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video for today. Don't forget to repent of your sins, turn your life to Jesus Christ, and get in that Bible. Um, read it up, soak it up, soak up all the knowledge of, of the Lord, and uh, you know, get to work, I guess. But um, hope you guys stay blessed, and uh, keep getting after it.